Hey guys, John from JBR here, back with another video. In this vid, I'm going to give you a quick demo on how to use the latest rotary tool that I've been working on with my mate Rowan from Extreme Rotaries. The tool that I'll be talking about is this thing here, which is called a pulley degree tool. And how this tool works is you drop the front pulley from your engine into the tool, like so. You line up the zero mark on your pulley with the zero mark on the tool and from there you can mark out all the various timing marks that you or your tuner is going to need to be able to accurately check and make sure that the ignition timing on your engine is correct. It doesn't matter what type of pulley that you're using on the engine, it can be a factory Mazda pulley, an aftermarket pulley like this one, a Gilma drive. It doesn't matter because they all fit into the tool without any issue. If we have a close look, you can see there's a heap of reference marks laid out on the tool in all different positions. Each tuner or engine builder has their own idea which marks are important and how they want to mark their own pulley out, but I'll explain each set of marks and which ones are most important to me and why. To start with, the first group of marks here, they go from zero all the way to 35 degrees in five degree increments. This set of marks are probably going to be the ones you will most commonly use. When I'm checking the timing on an engine, I always lock the timing on the ECU at zero. Then with a the timing light, I adjust the crank sensor so the engine itself is also at zero or 2DC. Once I've done that, I turn the timing lock function off in the ECU and I always like to rev the engine up um, so I can check the timing again at 20 or 25 degrees at higher RPM just to make sure the ECU is advancing the timing correctly and everything is working like it should. If the ECU says it's at 25 degrees, I always like to double check that the engine is also at 25 degrees and the ECU and the engine are both in sync before the car leaves the workshop. Now, the next reference mark that I'll talk about is the one that's most important to me um, and probably one of the most common things that people overlook when they're tuning rotaries. And that's this mark right here, which is TDC for the rear rotor on a 13B engine. This is something that not a lot of guys even give a second thought to, but it's something that I've seen a lot of dudes get caught out with over the years and is something that you always should check. Most tuners, when they check the timing, they only check the timing on the front rotor and rarely check it on the rear rotor. But if the dude who's wired your calls up has got the mass about or your mate who did you a favor and changed your spark plugs for you has ballsed up and put the plug leads on the wrong way, usually the only time you get to figure that out is after the tuner has already done a few pulls on the dyno and he realizes something isn't right. And by that time you've usually got no compression in the rear rotor. So for me personally, having the tool and being able to easily make this mark on all the engines I'm working with comes in very handy and is something that has saved me several engines in the past by being able to see a problem and fix it before it becomes a bigger problem. The tool also has reference marks for TDC on the center and rear rotors on a 20B same reason we just spoke about with a 13B engine, which you can see here. And it's also marked in 90 degree increments for those guys who want to set a pulley up for a four rotor engine. Now, there is one more mark, and that's this one here, which is marked at 20 degrees after top dead center. If you've got an FD engine, the factory pulley only has one mark or a little notch, as you can see here. 
and that mark is at 20 degrees after top dead center from the factory. So, the purpose of the mark on the tool is so you can drop the factory FD pulley in, line the mark up, and once you've done that, you can then go around and make a mark on the FD pulley at TDC, 10 degrees, 20 degrees, or whatever you want and be able to check the timing is correct on your aftermarket ECU. Another thing, a lot of aftermarket ECUs won't retard the ignition timing any further back than TDC when you're trying to zero the timing. And with the factory mark all the way back at 20 degrees after TDC, it's impossible to be able to use this factory mark to accurately check the timing on leading number one. So with the tool, you can make some additional marks on the factory pulley that will allow you to be able to check the timing on an FD engine properly. One more thing, I guess that's very important. For the tool to be accurate, you need to make sure your zero reference point that's marked on your pulley to begin with is spot on. Because if it's not, all the marks you make on the pulley after that, they're all going to be out as well. For this reason, I'd recommend you use this tool in conjunction with the Extreme Rotary's TDC check tool. So you're guaranteed to have an accurate zero point to start with. If you haven't already watched my video on how to find TDC, I'd recommend you scroll back through my Facebook feed a couple of months back and watch it. Um, because if you don't have that accurate TDC mark on your pulley to begin with, this tool is going to be a waste of money for you. Tools themselves, uh, 240 Australian dollars. I've got plenty of them on the shelf. If anyone needs one, shoot me a DM and I can get one sorted for you. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope some of you learnt something useful from the video. Thanks again and I'll see you all next time.